The first two presidential contests are behind us, Lord knows, and the Democrats are chugging ahead without, shall we say, a clear, decisive front runner. Bernie Sanders narrowly beat Pete Buttigieg in New Hampshire. Iowa was, let's call it a split decision and do the party a favor. Sanders is already on media tonight saying he won the popular vote in both places, yet Mayor Pete has one more delegate. Two candidates representing two very different wings of the Democratic Party. And if anything, Klobuchar's strong showing last night and Biden's fall way out of the money have further confused this race heading specifically into these next two states. The New York Times is reporting tonight within the Democratic establishment, the results have deepened a mood of anxiety and frustration. Back with us tonight, two exhausted journalists. John Heilman, national affairs analyst, co-host of The Circus on Showtime, editor-in-chief of The Recount, and Mara Gay, a former New York City bureau chief at The Wall Street Journal, these days a member of the New York Times editorial board. Mara, to you first. Bernie, Pete, Klobuchar, what just happened? Uh, you know, I, I think that much like the New York Times editorial board, voters are split on who they should choose. Hardfully done. Uh, no, I, I think it's true. Um, listen, there's so much anxiety among Democrats right now because they just don't know who the right person is to go up against Donald Trump. And they are desperate to beat Donald Trump. And there's a lot of game and shit being played. Uh, will people vote for a woman? Will people vote, vote for a socialist? Nobody really knows the answer. I do think that it's notable that if you were to add up the votes for, say, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar, you know, the moderates actually are looking quite strong in that sense, but their votes are divided. And then you have kind of this Sanders train that is just barreling full speed ahead. And then you have other folks looking at that who are looking at Michael Bloomberg as kind of a third way. And so the one thing I would say is that it really is early. And I would just say, uh, let's wait until Nevada, until South Carolina, until these larger states um, to get a sense for what the Democratic voters actually want. It is still extremely early. These states are are not um, they're not representative of the yeah. of the party at large. So I don't think it's time to panic yet if you're a Democrat. I would only urge people to go to the web and read about the process in Nevada for their caucus. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, John, I'm going to play for you. James Carville, who is having a moment for sure, self-described old warrior at age 75. Um, this is James Carville on Monday, and then we have a counter to this. They're looking for somebody that can come in and not just excite them, but talk about things that really matter to them in everyday life. They're not interested in socialism and the revolution and all that foolishness you hear. There's a certain part of the Democratic Party that wants us to be a cult. I'm not interested in being in a cult. Look, uh, James, in all due respect, is a political hack uh, who said very terrible things when he was working for Clinton. Uh, against Barack Obama. I think he said some of the same things. Uh, look, we are taking on the establishment. This is no secret to anybody. This segment brought to you by Meow Mix. Um, what's going on here? Is it symptomatic? Brian, with all due respect, you're a dog-faced pony soldier. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, what's going on with those two? I mean, look, there's, there's a Mara just pointed out that the, the moderate center-left part of the party is larger than the progressive part of the party. It's manifestly true. Senator Sanders is, in some sense, a freight train. He's obviously, in some worlds, is maybe the front-runner. I think there are co-front-runners. I, I continue to understand the way that you get nominated in the Democratic Party is to accumulate delegates, and ultimately the person who gets to 1991 is the nominee. So people We've awarded 1.6 percent thus far. It's small, but <laughs> at this moment, today, Pete Buttigieg has more delegates than Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders has won more votes. So let's call them co-frontrunners. But it's true that the moderate wing is bigger, numerically bigger. James is the voice of that wing of the party at this moment. It's funny to think of that because, of course, there was a time when we thought of James as being a liberal populist. Now he is the one who's looking at a lot of the field, the chaos in the field, the, the, as we said to you back right after the caucuses, right. that the combination of what it looked like in Iowa and the kind of calamity of that, plus this, this, the things of socialism and what he thinks of as purity tests, there's a lot of people in the Democratic Party are nervous right now um, about the whole state of things, about the fact the party might be about to blow a winnable election with existential kind of consequences and stakes. 
And then there's a lot of them who look just look at Bernie Sanders and say, the, the way we're going to blow this is by running a, is by nominating a socialist. I, I, I take no sides in this battle, but that's what James, the visceral thing James is touching on is that panic um, that in the moderate part of the party and certainly in the establishment and elite part of the party, what they are seeing when they think if this moderate wing continues to split its votes going forward, who does that favor? Well, it favors Bernie Sanders. It did last night in New Hampshire, had the moderates coalesced around Klobuchar mm-hmm. or around Buttigieg, Bernie would have lost that race. That pattern could continue deep into the into the winter and the spring, and that would be problematic from the point of view of those who think that socialism is a death knell for the party. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.